how can I make my frequency higher? What I would say about that is the same thing I just said. Practice, practice, practice. So many times when people come to the conferences, they hear all of this anointed teaching and they get so excited. Oh my gosh, I can do this. Oh my goodness, this is really, really great. But then they go home and they don't do anything with it. And therefore it produces very little fruit. The more that you activate your internal frequencies, the higher your frequencies can go. And I think for anybody to listen to the teaching on how to open up our internal gateways, how to activate our internal frequencies, how high you go with that depends on, again, how much you practice. Okay. And what, what would you do if you were physically sick? Like what would be a step you would take? Well, actually, I can answer that because I've seen the fruit of it in my own life and in the lives of many other people. In fact, even today, we took several people through a healing meditation that produced instantaneous results. Two of them were terminally ill with cancer that their body was so emaciated that for three months they couldn't even get out of bed to go to the bathroom by themselves. In one quantum entanglement, one period of prolonged meditation, these people who couldn't even get out of the bed by themselves were running up and down the stairs to the computer to thank us for what it was that we produced. I think that what the Lord is releasing right now is an understanding that we were created by him to self-heal and we can self-heal. If we will get into a meditative state where we concentrate on the word or the things of God or developing union with the divine nature, because in him, there is everything that we have need of. If you need healing, it's in him. If you need relationship, it's in him. If you need prosperity, it's in him. It's all in him. So my recommendation for anybody, especially seeking internal healing, is to stop praying earthbound prayers, close your eyes, go to heaven, Focus and meditate on him being the word of God and then see what that does in your body. I think that one of the things he's also doing at this present moment is he's reactivating our cellular memory because many times people fail to be healed because they have trauma from past uh, their past or the past of their uh, ancestors even uh, that is lodged in their cellular memory. So dealing with the cellular memory is something that really frees people up. And one of the things that we did just this morning in a, in a personal meditation for healing was we went back and extracted all the mitochondrial DNA that was in a person that came from ancestral downflow of sicknesses. And there are many, many, many different ways. But I think that if you look at the healings that Jesus did, you cannot find only one that he did without demanding a show of faith. Do you believe that I can do this? Stretch forth your arm, take up your bed, walk home. So in every case, he demanded a show of faith, except in the healing of the leper, in which case it says he was simply moved by compassion. So I think number one, stepping into the, the faith to believe for the substance of things hoped for, even if the evidence is not yet seen, to tap into the substance and the evidence so that the thing you're hoping for can actually manifest itself in the natural realm. Hi, I'm Nancy. I just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed what you heard, like and subscribe our YouTube channel. And if you're interested in lengthy, deeper teachings concerning the mysteries of God, contact us at sons.global and partner with us as we become co-workers and co-creators together with God for the establishment of His kingdom and His righteousness in all the earth.